Okay, I'm going to do a video about my Starship One. Um, I just just got this recently and I just fixed it. Um, wish I had better light. But I just want, before I bury this thing and get it covered and ever be able to see the sides again, I just want to show the, the beautiful artwork on this game. Starship One. Now this game, let me try to get closer here. This game, it has this little bumps and bruises, like here's this little bit, and there's some some ripping at the bottom. Let's see if I can get in there. You see that? But uh, man, this is a beautiful game. Wiped it down, and uh, I, you know what? I I, I want to try to get some Lexol or Armorall or something on it. it. Looks great though. Look how clean that is. Or, uh, you know, there's another trick you can do is you can get some linseed oil and thin it out and then rub linseed oil on your cabinet. But, uh, before I bury it, I just kind of want to look at it. Oh, I'm like crammed in here. I'm trying to move. What's this? Is this original or what? What is this? Did somebody add that or is that the way they came? You know, but, uh, here's some discoloration there. Somebody spray painted while six I don't know but I'm doing this because I'm moving tank out of here tanks a little rough and uh, it's another wide cabinet and I got so much so many games packed in here that um, you know this is another wide cabinet I can I want this one I want this game in there Let's see if I can move this over some uh, so you guys can see this side is a Pretty pretty good scratch right there, but uh, beautiful artwork on this. You can see not me, but somebody like tried to clean it, and they they wore some of the green paint off there. Can you see that? But besides that, this cabinet is amazing. It's amazing. Um, the front. Um, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a gameplay video. I'm going to show you guys what this game looks like, and uh, and well, uh, let me push it in. Let me push it in the row, and let's well, check it out. This is Starship One. I got it in the row. I was going to put it right here, but I like the sides on this so much. I moved this this the uh, um, 280 Zap over here, so I can kind of see the sides because that's just that's really cool side art, you know. Now let me talk about this bezel. Now I painted this bezel. I don't. I don't like to paint yellowed plastic because there is ways to make yellow yellowed plastic snow white again. But in this case, I had to paint it because it was uh, that uh, I I got two of these bezels, and I went with the one that was stronger than the one. And there were, I had one that was brittle, and one that was stronger. But believe it or not, the stronger one was in many pieces so what I did is there's about five different pieces on that were this was in this bezel was in bad shape but I uh, I ended up uh, sanding the in insides and I fiberglassed it so unfortunately I had to paint it I don't like painting plastic but there was no other option but uh, yeah, there's a lot of fiberglass and epoxy resin holding this bezel to back together. It's probably stronger than it was from the factory now. But it has the uh, Atari Ally coin door. I need to, need to replace the uh, light bulb. Had it working. I think that might be a different coin door. But um, also I need to uh, uh, paint the silver. This, this is supposed to be silver. All around here like silver paint but uh, let me see oh and also this see that it's so scratched up that plexi I'm just gonna replace it but for now it's here but let me get a shot of this marquee isn't that cool now main there as far as I could see before I post this video on YouTube <clears throat> No one has a picture, a video of 
a real Starship One working. Everyone has like a MAME version. And believe me when I say MAME got it wrong. Um, there's different spots like when you when you shoot a ship um, and Starship One, it goes back and forth as it explodes. And MAME, it just sits there and just, I don't know, it just sits there and farts and that's it. Um, also, the sounds are, are, are way different. I mean, they, they, they are different on this than, than on MAME. And uh, also, the, the, how often the planets show up. I have two different Starship One boards, both working. And they both do it. They both work just like this one. So I'm pretty sure this is how it's supposed to be. But in MAME, there's planets coming up all the time. Planets just bombarding you. But in the real game, it's not nearly that often. It's actually almost sort of rare. Well, not sort of rare, but it's not that often. <clears throat> okay. Um, now this has a paper bezel. Chain it. You see, mine. Mine's a little, little wore out. But uh, also, this is square here. Something's supposed to be here. I'd like to know. What is this? Pence? What is that? What is P? Ten P. I don't know what currency that was. I don't know what country this came from. But you can definitely see how my plastic's kind of messed up. But, uh, yeah, 1976 this came out, according to the marquee. Now, this does not have a AR2 power supply in it like many Atari, or AR power supply in it, like many Atari games do. This uh, has a transformer on the bottom, and the power supply is on board like a Pac-Man. Let me, let me take, show you a little bit of this control panel. Now, I had two control panels to work with, and I used the controls off of one and the plate off another. I still got to put, put the carriage bolt in there. But this control panel is great. I mean, I'm glad to see uh, a metal control panel because, you know, that looks decent because it's almost impossible to fix it without knowing few little rust spots. The other one didn't have any rust spots, but it also lost all of its clear coat or gloss or whatever. So I went with this one. And I, I did get uh, a little lazy when I'm painting. Let me see if I can show you. See how I see the, I taped this off because I didn't want to lose the pop rivets because I don't have a rivet gun. <laughs> well, let me set up a tripod and I will show you guys how what it actually really looks like to play Starship One. Okay, I got the lights off. See, um, I, uh, this game has a black light in the back, and I put a standard black light in there, but they did not use a standard black light. The black light they used is more like a fish tank black, more like a fish tank light. It's like, it's, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Space Invaders. The black light in Space Invaders isn't a true black light. It's it's like it's it's brighter than your average black light. So unfortunately, there's some graphics that I can see, but I don't see them being picked up on the camera here, which really sucks because it really adds some dimension to the game. It gives it like a 3D look, you know. But uh, yeah, there is this is one. This is an example of one of those games that is not. It wasn't necessarily rare back in the day. Matter of fact, they made 3,500 of these. Well, I guess that's rare by arcade standards, but but now, now it's rare. Because this is one of those games where operators did not want to save. This is one of those games that uh, um, it kind of got old quick. You know what I mean? But let me coin up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I personally have seen uh, two of these in real life. I mean... And I, I've seen a lot of games. <laughs> okay, now when you first coin up, it says, You have saved the Federation, deposit coin to be star captain of Starship Atari. And it kind of that's it's kind of like an all-round like message at the end of the game and the beginning of the game. But let me coin up here. Okay. What? What is that? There we go. I, if, you, if you hold the coin button too long, it goes to like a safety thing. Okay. You are in command... Press start to begin mission. Okay, so I'm gonna press start down here. Now you see how that goes back and forth? It does not do that in MAME. Now 
this game is timed, and uh, it's, the time is your fuel. And I, this is probably the longest I've played this game. I mean, I haven't played this game much. Um, so, I don't know if you're awarded more points or not. You know, more fuel. My left does not... It doesn't go left very hard. I need to check that out. It's, I need, you either need to adjust the potentiometer, or there might be adjustment on the board, I don't know. But I, I, can, I can take a hard right, but a soft left. So we'll have to figure that out. But my controls, I'm moving the yoke control up and down, just like Star Wars. Oh, I got hit. Okay. Okay, well... Now, if I, if I feel like I'm in trouble, I can press this button. I can press a button for a proton torpedo. And I just killed everything on screen. Now, I can flip this down. Now, I go, now I'm going at faster speed. See, now, now I'm moving faster. Now, in MAME, you can kind of see... I'm going to go back down. In MAME... You can kind of see that it's really choppy, but the real machine is is actually a lot smoother. Oh, I ran out of, ran out of fuel. I'm gonna play one more time just to try to get a get a better game going. Okay, okay. Let, all right, let's get let's get real. Let's get serious. So there's different points for different ships. Hit them all. Sometimes you just gotta let them go. Now, like there's a like every once in a while you see a small planet in the distance. You really gotta steer to get close to that planet. Use that proton torpedo. I got them all. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the gas. Now, it's kind of like a ripoff of uh, Star Trek. Does that not look like the Starship Enterprise to you? It kind of sucks because on this machine, if I wanted to go fast, I gotta take one hand off the yoke and hit the throttle. You'd think they would have made it stick, like a pole position or something. I just hit my proton torpedo again. Now, some people uh, don't like this game because it's it's kind of a it's an old game. I mean, give it a break. I mean, uh, I don't think I would sit there and play this game for hours on end. No, but imagine yourself in 1976 uh, and you first seen this thing. It's uh, freaking amazing. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I wish I could. Let me try to take the camera out. Okay, I'm going to try to show you the black lights. Looks like it's not picking up. You know what? This one I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm gonna turn the, the light on the camera on just to see if I can see some of the graphics. That's even worse. Definitely can't see it, see it now. But oh well. But that is Starship One. I turned the lights off in here. But that's Starship One.